Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Mia. I haven't made a video for a while, so I wanted to make one and give you an update for what I've been doing lately to create art and maybe give you some inspiration of things you can do at home. Um, so lately I've been doing some watercolor painting and I, I've um, just started this. I haven't started the painting part, but I've I drew a picture of some flowers I recently pl uh, planted and later on I'm going to paint this with watercolors. You can see I've used painter's tape to kind of uh, frame up the area that I'm going to paint. That way the paint doesn't go to other parts of the paper. So this is uh, one of the paintings I'm working on. I have also been doing some coloring. So these are some coloring pages that I did recently with colored pencils. And coloring is something I enjoy to do. It, um, it's very relaxing. And I know some of you enjoy coloring. Uh, another thing that inspires me is I have these books that I've purchased. Um, this one's called Coffee Break Sketching by John um, Gillard. And it just has different prompts for sketching and drawing, which I like that sometimes if I don't have an idea, I like to have uh, get inspired by some of the ideas in these books. I have this one, Coffee Break Sketching, that I've been using. Uh, something like this, you could probably easily, I found this at Barnes & Noble, but you could probably easily find something somewhere on Amazon if you want to look for something yourself. Um, this one's called Creative Doodling and Beyond, and so this has some different doodling ideas. It's a very similar book that has drawing prompts. So I would say these, these type of books like this would be great for anything fourth grade on up uh, into adults. So uh, moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas, if you are looking for some inspiration, here you go. Um, for younger children, there is something called the anti-coloring book. I don't have mine with me here. It's at school, but there's a series called the anti-coloring book that also has drawing prompts for uh, kids. So anyone from kindergarten up to fifth grade, those would be great for. So you can look those up probably easy, uh, easily found on Amazon if you're looking for something to inspire you and keep you busy. So, so I wanted to tell you some of the things I've been doing. I want to keep you engaged and keep on creating Art is perfect for if you're bored, if you're feeling sad and down, if you're a little stressed. Art is a good release for that, and I hope you're continuing to make art for fun, but it also to help you cope with, uh, you know, the situation we're all going through. It's a good outlet for um, your emotions, and I am really enjoying seeing all the art you're creating. I've created an Instagram account so I can make a virtual art show. I just, I'm this week, been working on packaging up all your art and sorting it out to get to your teachers so when you pick up your school supplies you'll have your art to take home you should be able to get back most of it as long as it has its name on it and so I'll be sending all that home with you as well so um, I look forward to seeing you whenever we can and I keep sending me those photos if you can of your artwork I'll see you later bye